So right here is the oil drain, and this is your oil filter. So first we're going to drain out all the oil. This bolt's pretty easy to lose in the oil once you get it out. Um, you want to have your bike warmed up first before you do this. You want the oil to be hot so that it comes out easier. Um, so since the oil's hot, you definitely don't want to touch it. So if you do end up dropping the bolt, just fish it out of the oil. So there's our bolt. Stick that down on a paper towel for now. So next up is the filter. So you got the same bolt right on the bottom. And as you can see, as you undo it, oil is going to pour out from the filter. So what I like to do for this part is grab some paper towels and spin the filter off yourself. we go. So empty some of that oil out. The filter should pull right off. Make sure you don't lose these. Alright, so when you pull your new filter out, you'll notice that you have two rubber rings. gonna have to replace these so pull this one out looks like it was already coming out that's not good and then just want to soak up a bit of this oil It's still hot. And pop the bolt out. And there's the first O ring that we're going to replace. bolt is still hot. Alright, so you just want to pull that guy off. To make sure you get a good seal, you just want to just grab a bit of oil with your finger. Oil that part up. Roll it in, pop it in there, and make sure it's oiled up. And 
and so for this guy, just uh, clean out any old oil crud that you see in there. And then same thing with the oil. get a bit into that crevice and a bit on the ring it's not bad either and then pop the ring in And put your spring back on. Put your filter on. And put your cap on. And just torque it on there. You don't really need a torque wrench for the oil change. Just, uh, you just want to make sure it's on tight, but not too tight. Think of, you know, how much, how much force do I want to have to use to get this off again. And for me, it's right there. Alright, next we have the drain plug. You just want to make sure that washer is on it. And screw that guy back in. He torques on pretty easy. And we're almost done.